Good morning, New York City. Privateer FX coming at you. 15th of May. It's a Tuesday. Uh, we're waiting. We're waiting for dollar yen. Uh, I remember back in the uh, 2000s when you used to be able to leave a stop uh, through a big round number. Granted, the size was a little bit bigger. Um, and even if it didn't belong there, London dealers would just jam it. Um, and there'd be all kinds of vol, two paid, eight bid, figure given, 88 given. Uh, and then you may end up just 92 choice. I used to get pissed off at those days. Because oftentimes I was the O2 bid getting jammed. Uh, but now we have this new paradigm where nobody's jamming anything except for the algos and the algos will really only reach cross like a one pip spread and the secondary consequences of all this is something like this look at the one minute chart today we've been basically 82 figure and if you really take away the 82's we've been like 82 92 if you take away these little two minutes above 95, one minute above 97. We've been 82, 92 all fucking morning. I am, I have no words. Sackless, castrated London. Can't get duller yen through the psychological 110 where undoubtedly there's a tons of, tons of people waiting to buy the entire professional FX world who who trades momentum, that group, uh, and frankly, all the all the people who fade are they want to sell high ones. Eighteen point range, going into a critical critical level. When yields go to three o three, euro down to one nineteen ten. And dollar yen is 82.92 the whole freaking time. Wow. Tremendous. Anyway, patience. It's part of trading. I'm not going to rush this. We're going to wait until the conditions are right, until the setup is right, until the story is right. Surprising as it is, we just sit here and wait. And uh, we'll see if we can get above this uh, psychological level. One thing I want to point out is the 200-day here is around 18. And this downward sloping trend line here, kind of a 2-3 toucher, but needs another touch, comes in at 15 today. So really... This sucker doesn't get really bid until we get to 20. So we got to be careful for false breaks through the figure because the real smart money, I think, is going to be above sort of 16. So 110, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 might be that little pocket. of CTA buying today. It's not clear. Now we have a triple top at 110.02. I mean, it's hard to ignore that. But I really don't like when we have these overhang situations above a horizontal. So, heads up, people. Take a look at Dollar Swiss. Obviously, with yields uh, at 3.02, the pressure is on the upside. We had a long tail yesterday. Uh, triple top here, one one double oh fifty seven. I imagine some people are going to buy through the European highs now here at twenty, um, but for sure there will be people buying through these highs here. This one I especially like, even though I hate trading dollar Swiss because it's awkward. No one wants to do it. Everyone's saying, "Oh, divergence! Oh, it's overbought." Um, you know, it doesn't make any sense. We've come a long way very quickly. 
these are the type of uh, trades that often pay. So keep an eye on Dollar Swiss. And if you're like me, you just can't stand Dollar Swiss, just ignore that advice. Um, but it, if you're down with it, g give it a whirl. Let's check around here. Equities printed a new daily low. You could argue it's a sell rally now today, but really doing nothing. It's been basically 23, 26, just annoyingly dead. So to sum it up, we are just waiting for dollar yen. We got some core longs on from like, what was that? 5.30 in the morning, six hours ago. Um, and now we just wait. I think the kill on this thing is going to be uh, below 70. So try and get your average below 70. Obviously, if you come in in New York, that's going to be very hard to do. Um... And we wait and see if um, if London jams this before you guys get in. It's 5.30 New York time now. Or they need their big brother New York to come in to kick this door down. Anyway, I've said enough. We're still accumulating trading from the long side dollars. And just waiting. Good luck out there, people. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm halfway through the book about not giving a fuck. I will start doing tweets after trading hours. So in the evenings with a glass of wine, you'll see some tweets from me about books. Feel free to poke the bear when you see them. All right. Catch you guys later. Ciao.